This is um, Don Trump gave a a pretty bizarre UN speech, wouldn't you say? I would say it was low energy. It was low energy, but some of these things are um, are a little bit weird. Going up there and chastising media and academic institutions. Oh yeah, it, it was sort of a Stephen Miller special. Saying that. Um, Open borders are promoted only by sex traffickers. Um, that to me seems like a rather, you know, extreme uh, vision of things. <laughs> yeah, it would seem to be at a bit of an overgeneralization. I mean, a little bit, just a little bit. It sort of sounds like somebody who is like terrified of of getting, I don't know, impeached. And so um, relying on on really sort of a lot of uh, of riling a base, maybe. I don't know. Oh, he's going to get so awesome as this thing progresses. Yeah, this is going to get, uh, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, folks. Here is Donald Trump in front of the UN General Assembly heavily sedated but arguing that media and academic institutions are assaulting time a faceless bureaucracy operates in secret and weakens democratic rule media and academic institutions push flat out assaults on our histories traditions and values in the United States, my administration has made clear to social media companies that we will uphold the right of free speech. A free society cannot allow social media giants to silence the voices of the people. And a free people must never, ever be enlisted in the cause of silencing, coercing, canceling, or blacklisting their own neighbors. Wow. First of all, the idea that academic, he's talking, he's literally delivering the Dave Rubin um, uh, portion of the speech, right? Media and academic institutions. Grievance studies. Are pushing flat out assaults on our histories, traditions, and values. Uh, Gavin McGinnis has been deplatformed. Milo Yannanopoulos can't even get more than 20,000 followers on Gab. People are blogging about Dave Chappelle. It's really, really bad right now. So much so that I took 14 Xanax before I gave this speech. So much so say. that I'm actually using the department, or he probably has no idea, but the Department of Education is actually threatening universities. Because if their Middle East studies programs deal with it, Palestinian human rights, as an example, Duke and UNC Duke have and a UN joint Middle East yes. program that the Title uh, Ten uh, funding is being threatened to being pulled from unless there's more Judeo-Christian values that are put in there and helps and our security. Best defense is a good offense. But Donald Trump is not done at the UN. He sleepily also uh, says that um, the question of Borders and immigration is a function of sex trafficking. Wonder why that was on his mind so much. Which I hate. I hate, hate that. that. Totally, totally hate opposed it. to that. Once I get a wife, why would I care? Here in the United States and around the world, there is a growing cottage industry of radical activists and non-governmental organizations that promote human smuggling. These groups encourage illegal migration and demand Eurasia of national borders. Eurasia. Eurasia. Today I have a message for those open border activists who cloak themselves in the rhetoric of social justice. Your policies are not just. Your policies are cruel and evil. You are empowering criminal organizations that prey on innocent men, women, and children. You put your own false sense of virtue 
before the lives, well-being, and countless innocent people. When you undermine border security, you are undermining human rights and human dignity. I mean, this is pretty stunning stuff from Donald Trump. All right, so here's here's one more clip of Donald Trump Another at the United, thing United about Nations. About human traffickers, sorry, I'm a little slow. Is they demand payment in full for services rendered? <laughs> it's another thing that we don't like about them. Getting up on that Zan. The COD is the worst thing that has ever been developed in the Western world. No trust. There's no trust. Many of these smaller China. operations will say that a girl is from one part of the world and then send you one from another. So customers are deceived and disappointed. This injustice will not stand. You think you're getting a bride from Belarus, and it turns out she's from Azerbaijan. You've paid Ukrainian prices for Kazakh product. You think you're, make, you think you're helping them, you're just making them more ornery. Erasure. Are we almost done yet? Simply <laughs> promise them that you just going to make more money, not going to have to be president or via first lady. And oh. <laughs> you gave them a child and they're still unhappy. Still All unhappy. Right. Well, so here's Donald Trump. Um, I want you to watch this next clip of Donald Trump at the UN uh, uh, General Assembly. Um, you will see reaction shots from the ghouls that they brought to the speech who are all and i noticed mike pompeo yesterday when uh when trump was trying to explain about why he withheld payments or was going to withhold payments or corruption and pompeo sits there and he's got a thing where he's like you can tell i mean i've been in these situations where you lock your jaw and you're just like don't smile don't make any reaction whatsoever. Just look forward. And all of these people are well practiced at it. And they have to do this because they cannot indicate, they can't believe that this guy is the president. And so here it is. This is clip number, um, uh, oh wait, this is, no, is this five? Oh, uh, yeah, do four first and then we'll do five. We'll give the reactions. And then you got to see the reaction from somebody on Fox News, just so that you get a sense of just like how deluded these people are. I mean, right now, I couldn't be less sympathetic to Donald Trump. I, it's like I, I, I have more sympathy for inanimate objects that I come across on any given day than I do for Donald Trump. And I'm worried there's something really wrong with him in this instance. We just want to listen Jeff to him said, that's why try and deliver this speech. He's got it going really slow. The teleprompter's moving so slow. He's, you know, uh, <laughs> presumably he's read it at least once and he can't make out the words and he's talking. He, he is so sedated. And so let's play this clip of him trying to just say fire tire. Americans will never fire or tire in our effort to defend and promote freedom of worship and religion. We want and support religious liberty for all. There you go. I mean, how heartfelt that is. We will never fire or tire. What would happen if you fire in your pursuit of... You're fired. I mean... We will... <laughs> You're tired. Here, look Everybody's at these. Now let's listen and just look at these the people. Look Israeli at, delegation is fired. <sighs> I don't think I've ever seen a speech that has been delivered with less um, sort of seemingly connection to the words than this one. But look at the looks on these uh, on these uh, lunatics here. Um, you've got Mike Pence, Mike Pompeo. You've got is that Kevin McCarthy? But no, that's not Kevin McCarthy. But uh, who is that? Oh, that's McGuire. Is that is that McGuire? Probably McGuire. And uh, Wilbur Ross. And then you have Steve Mnuchin's wife, I think. Is that it? Well, no. Oh, she's the UN. Oh, she's a new UN ambassador. Okay. And then Mnuchin's behind her. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> it is the divide between those whose thirst for control 
deludes them into thinking they are destined to rule. There you go. Thirst. Um, I'm gripping the roof. So you've watched these clips of Donald Trump, and even if you despise this man, you have to be like, I'm concerned because there's something really wrong with him. However, Katie McFarlane, she's found something to like. Watching the president's speech together, KT, if you could first tell us what you just saw and, and, and the words of the president, what struck you? I think this is his best speech ever. What? And, he, and look at the body language. He Thank was confident. You, he was reading slowly. He didn't repeat himself a bunch of times. Pause it. Wait a second. Done. Can we just go back to the body language for a moment? Pop, pop, pop a, a video of him. The body language was confident. He's literally sort of looks like he is about to pass out. Go ahead, play, play. Look at this body language. It's called being relaxed. We're, play this, uh, look at this body language. This like bureaucracy that. operates in secret and weakens what kind of, democratic rules. First of all, he can't open his eyes. Media and academic institutions push flat What is the body sight. language here that we're supposed to be looking like? Well, how else would you deliver this speech? Relax. Like, He's uh, so relaxed uh, and confident. Uh, uh, who delivers this speech like that? Wait, go ahead. The body language, so confident, speaking slowly, didn't repeat himself. Fire, tire. He just changed the way. Go ahead. You just saw and, and, and the words of the president. What struck you? I think this is his best speech ever. And, he, and <laughs> look at the body language. He was confident. He was reading slowly. He didn't repeat himself a bunch of times, which he has always done in the past. And the other thing is, how many times did he talk about himself? I never counted one. He was talking about the country. He was talking about the things that he wanted Americans to accomplish. Even when he talked about the economies improving, he didn't say, I created the jobs. He said, we. So I think it was wow. a very different Donald all the Trump. Elements of a I also think it was Trump the best description no he has ever given of what value. Make America Great Again means and what America First means. He's usually tweeted this stuff out, but he's never really articulated it. So what Thank you for noticing my articulation, yes, Katie. Yes, I wow. was so drugged. You're hired. It was like all of the boring I mean, tweets you're that tired. I don't send. You're tired. I mean hired. Fired. Fired. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. That's an insult to Trump. If you're watching this as a Trump supporter, you should respectfully tweet at uh, KT McFarlane and tell her to respect your president more because she just down she just undermined frankly a lot of his best work which are free form off the cuff well and very much about himself here's the thing uh, KT McFarlane may uh, believe that this was the best speech that Donald Trump has ever given because he didn't repeat the words twice as he read them he read slowly almost as if he couldn't read that would have been and, great if he did a whole, like, oh, it's a big section on sex traffickers. Isn't that something? Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, that's a real big problem. Sex trafficking. It's the worst. Right? It's the worst. But, do we remember Do we remember Hillary Clinton with she, Jeffrey Epstein? That whole thing. It was terrible. She was very All excited about how humble he was in the speech that was written for him. Looking at a teleprompter. You remember? Does anybody remember how much the Republicans talked about Barack Obama using a teleprompter. I mean, this went on for years. And now they're praising Donald Trump for just being able to read the speech that was given to him. Isn't that but his